morning everybody. Right, let's go find some cows. Oh, I must have get up this morning. Go girls, up we go. Nearly took me 20 minutes to get the girls out of that paddock this morning. Oh, hello 29, how are you doing girl? <laughs> right, better get up to the castle. Come on. He's hardly arrived. Jeez. Finally. No, she doesn't want to go back with the herd today. Too sore. Nice grass out there too. Nice and foggy. Come on girl, you're gonna have to walk around. Oh yeah, see, as you see here, she's been bullying. Is that probably yeah, nicely? Help? Still got another one to go. Look at that fog. It's definitely thick this morning. Dad said it was way thicker, just a bit down the road on his way here, so. Let's go. down first he's gonna take arrow we're gonna go he's gonna go lock the cows away and uh, we're gonna get he's gonna start his tractor up and we're gonna get this girl and start her up let her warm up for a minute and then head on down so I got a few people asking down in the comments uh, why don't we put it in the stack because we tend to like feeding our maize out now this is generally when we have got our least amount of silage we probably could put it in the stack but as Dad said, that's what our silage, our um, bailed silage is for. So we've got enough silage to carry us through our spring anyways. That's when a lot of people carry their maize through to, they carry their maize through to spring and feed it out uh, in the stacks. Uh, we do prefer to feed it out now. And also when in our spring we get very wet because we're quite a low area. And when we feed out, we haven't really got the facilities because a lot of people will use that in either their bunkers or on their paddocks, but they'll use it on dry paddocks. And what happens is, it, it, for us, it kills our grass where we feed, where that feeds out. When it's maize, when it's uh, when it's silage maize, and um, and the cows just bog it up real bad because we're a bit wetter. And we tend to have a lot of grass in the spring, so that's why we don't tend to feed out in the um, feed our maize out in the spring. Feed it out now. It's the ground's a lot harder. They don't make as much of a mess. And when it comes around to regrassing, if they did make a mess, autumn was when we tend to regrass. So then we can regrass over the areas that 
may have made a big mess. That's all good. All right, let's go down, let's load up, and uh, go see some cows feed out. Dang traffic, look at them all. It's part that these girls aren't walking too fast, they're just nice and walking down. Okay, there's our maize here, this is our tall stuff, our longer maturing. Still got another month and a half probably before he's or another month before he's actually ready. These girls are all happy, they can wait for their maize. Dad's closed the gate. Um, yeah, you see there's a few weeds, but there's a lot of clover and a lot of grass there. It took a while for it to take off after that cyclone because we got so drenched and the ground was saturated. But now that it's been sunny for a while, we're starting to get some good growth. And it's starting to harden up. By hardening up, I mean, um, it's getting a bit of quality in it. Because you lose a lot of quality when you've got too much rain and it ends up, um, if you get too much rain, it ends up with grass being too wet and takes a lot of the nutrients out of it. And you need some good sunshine just to get that uh, grass to come back. Dad just made his tractor. We'll give him a good two or three minutes to warm up because she runs flat knackers as fast as it can go. To um, okay, so the power dropped off. She has to run as fast as as much power into it as she can to get that maize chopper to chop as much maize as we do with two rows at a time. See how these new belts go. here we do two rows and uh, this is the long one of the long sides because it's nice and standing beautifully we've got we've cut through that uh, crap stuff and then the across the ends we're doing still two rows across the end cutting because um, they're still good as well and the far side opposite to this one we're actually only cutting one row basically falling out so it'd be falling towards us when we chop and so that means that uh, we can get the one row that's falling without having to run over the maze with that two row chopper. Just sit out one row. It's all good. So this right, each side is two except for the far side at the moment. I'll show you as we can get. See there we're just picking up one row because the uh, down maze is all in that uh, next row is over. It's doing a good job. It's picking up most of it. Load, but it doesn't look like it worked this load so it's just too far leaning over again we may be able to grab it from the other side as we work our way over so that's right okay, it's just part of it part of the maze being uh, hit by that storm this was the uh, older maze as well and of our three paddocks there's three paddocks the same age the same maturity so this is the older paddock and the three older paddocks got hit the hardest the first paddock we had opened second paddock here and then the third paddock is all right but it's still got a lot of uh, a lot of damage to it as well all done it's got a good load on the back Ooh, it's a good load um, didn't expect that much to be put on but just cow's gonna be well fed tonight they also got a pretty good paddock for tonight too We'll go ahead here. We're gonna go open this bale up and chuck her on the back. That's us, we're all fully loaded. Got our silage bale on the back. It's a nice load. She's definitely nice and full back here. Come on girls, come on, come on. Just shift them into one of these two paddocks here. I'm not sure if it's the one on the left or the one on the right. As you can see, we've still got a bit of water around here. It's not much can be done about it. It's uh, not moving either. 
Hey, come on, girls, come on. Hello, Jamie. Jamie. Hello. How are you, eh? Good girl. Such a friendly girl. Such a friendly girl. Come on, girls. Up we go. And they're on their way to their new paddock. As you can see from the water running over the race here, let's put a little bit of stones up. We brought the stones to the top. Happens. Right. Jamie. And they're kind of happy as. See where the water got stagnated and got stuck. Stayed here for a while. So they went to the grass, but it gets flooded too bad. Can't breathe. We saw some of the flooding damage that we had. So now we're going to shoot up to um, Dan's runoff. And we've got some animals to shift and have a look and see what else we get up to up there. Catch us up there. Oh. All little baby frogs. All little tadpoles. Hundreds of them. Morning, me and Dad have a guess. I had a guess of 39.60. Dad had a guess of 41.60. And what was the leader it's Dad? 41.58. Oh, so close. But close enough. Cheapers. Better than me, I was out by a couple of hundred litres. Grab the standard's car, we'll go and do the beefers. Right. What do you do? Dad's two year olds, they're looking good. Growing well. for another drink, she's little calves. So once they get picked down to dad's uh, cow shed paddock, they're in line for a drink. Come on, Zuggies, Zuggies, come on. Last four little calves. They need a drench. You see their fur, it's all uh, wrangly. They 
can be another sign of them needing a drench too. And you look at them, some of them look a bit hollow in the gut. It's another sign they need a drench. A bit smaller ones too. So, generally you're right. Come on, don't you step over that. Opens it up. And so that electrifies the reel. Awesome. So that's set up so these animals can't get to the silage bales. That'll shift them another day. And we're ready. We're ready. The little carvies all shifted. They're happy in their new paddock. Well, it's plan today, Dad. What else are you up to? Sounds good. See you after breakfast. Afternoon, everybody. So it's pretty quiet in here at the moment. The power's off because we had the uh, Power Co is, or our local power company is doing a checking out the power lines. The power line company is looking at the power lines and replacing a power pole somewhere. So, yeah, it's meant to be over by now, but we'll wait and see. See how much longer they're going to go for. Um, the cows are here. We're just going to put them in uh, the paddock just out here that they were in the other night, if they're here. But if they're not, they're and the power's back on. We can get to milking, but until then, we've just got to wait till this power comes back on. If it is going to be another half an hour, we're going to have to uh, hook up the generator. But, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see how long. It's meant to be just about And finished. we have power. I'll wash the vat, and we'll uh, get to milking. So, um, water's not too hot, so we're just going to do a standard acid wash today. Girls are on their way, they're not very far away. Yeah, strange looking tucker for the middle of February, isn't it? Very weird, beautiful feed everywhere. I'm loving it. Too busy editing my video to notice uh, the girls are here. Right, let's get to milking. Flies, as you can see, a couple of flies flying around there. Poor girl. Oh, girls, off we go. Come on. Oh, girls, off we go. Huh. I think it's going to start raining. Hey Dad, does it feel like it's gonna rain? Yeah. Feel like it's raining yet? Oh, sorry, one. Thank you, grumpy cow. I only allowed to pet her for so long, then she starts to go back her off. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Come on, girls, push her up. Yeah, man. Go, girls, up we go. Where did this come from? Absolutely beautiful weather before. Come on. Oh well, more rain coming. We're all set up. Also got the brews going. That's what me and Dad did today. We just got our um, brews going at the home for uh, nice alcohol. So we're off now. We're going to go down, feed out to the girls, and then that'll be us for today. Beauty of the day it was today until now. It's gotten real cloudy. It looks like we've got some rain coming. There we go. That's why we feed up. We're feeding the people this way. You can see the big pile. Makes a nice good, um, joint little pile. Beautiful. Solid pile starting to work its way out towards the front. Us for today, the girls have got their silage, got their maize. And we'll call it a day there. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.